guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would just take a trip down memory lane and look at my very, one of my very first mountain bikes that I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I finally pulled it in from outside being covered and this is because I went riding yesterday with my friend and my friend doesn't have a bike, he's just really never mountain biked and so I have the spare bike. The reason why I kept this bike because a lot of you guys will probably be thinking, oh god Morgan, why would you ever keep this bike? And point blank, I bought this bike for a little less than $400, maybe right at $400, and it's just a bike you can't do anything with at the end of the day. Like, it's not something I want to invest money in. I thought about it, especially after yesterday. I was like, maybe I should buy some things for him, like, but I don't really want to invest any money because the things that I really need to do to it are would be really expensive, and you, you get the picture. This poor bike, I really, I'm on a mission now to try to fix this bike and just, you know, help it out here at least so it's a you know a working bike but anyways back to my whole spiel is I didn't I didn't sell it because it's it wouldn't be worth much and I'd rather have a bike that works that I can loan to friends or whatever so they can ride with me than you know get like 80 bucks out of it or whatever so that's why I just kept this bike so the bike that I got was a Diamondback Sorento and don't get me wrong, these, this is a great recreational bike, you know, chill bike, you know, to do a little, you know, gently, you know, maybe some fire roads or something like that, it, it's great for, but that's pretty much it. Yesterday my friend and I, we did push its limits, we took it on a black diamond trail and yeah, you know, he made it, so <laughs> there's that. So I mean that just goes to show that diamond makes, you know, solid bikes because it didn't break. But there's just so many things. I feel so awful because I'm one of those people that I just, I take such great care of my things, but this poor bike, I really felt bad, guys. I truly felt bad when I pulled it out yesterday. I was like, oh, what has happened to you? Because it's just been neglected, literally probably out on my porch, you know, covered everything two years and I haven't, I haven't touched it. And so I realized it's starting to rust in spots. Just the brakes were awful. I had to do a lot of tuning up to this bike. Honestly, I don't even remember what this bike has on it. So just for fun, let's see what this bike has. Okay guys, I found the specs for this bike because I don't even remember what it is. So, for the fork, because the fork, don't even get me started on this fork. I'm gonna have to take it apart. I mean, honestly, it needs a new fork. This fork is probably shot just from sitting outside, but again, I don't wanna put any more money into this bike, so I'm gonna try to take it apart and just grease it down good and get it to work, because right now, it doesn't even move hardly. So the fork is an SR Suntour coil spring 75 millimeter. <laughs> 75 millimeters of travel, guys. Like I, I mean, that's hard to find in a bike, I feel like, so I mean, like I said, you stick to fire roads with this bike. It's not, yeah. So you guys can see why I quickly outgrew this bike, very much so. Um, and then for, this, for the cranks we have, I mean, for the cranks it just says MTB, still arm. Um, what else can I tell you on this? I mean, handlebars, the handlebars are crap, so I can't even, there's not even anything to them, so we can't even go there. But tires are just 27.5, so the gears are Shimano, and then the bike's a 3x8. That's my very, very, one of my very first mountain bikes, guys, and it, yeah, it didn't, it didn't stay too long. The bike that I wish I would have kept would probably be my, uh, the last bike that I showed you guys, my Diamondback Hook, but Again, it really wasn't suitable for a lot of my friends probably to ride, so that, I mean, it was worth money, so that's why I just went ahead and sold that one and <laughs> kept this beauty, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to make upgrades to this bike on the cheap, because like I said, this bike is something that I really don't want to put a lot of money into, but I would like it so my friends are able to use it and, you know, go for a little joy ride with me, <laughs> not go probably some more black diamonds with that. The one thing that I really wish would be a cheap upgrade was just to, would be just to put disc brakes on this because I hate V brakes so much. I don't think they're the most reliable braking in the world. The brakes just are, you just come to a slow creeping stop with V brakes and I've just, I've never been a fan. I was trying them yesterday because I was like, oh, how good are these brakes even? And especially after having hydraulic brakes compared to these V brakes, I mean, it's just like, oh my God, I felt so bad for putting them on this bike. But anyways, 
that's my first bike. Go ahead and laugh and be like, Morgan, what were you thinking? But you know, guys, I got this bike because it's like, I don't even know if I'm going to be mountain biking or how often I'm gonna be doing it. And I want to see if I actually like it before investing some real money in a bike. And, but yeah, that's how we ended up with the Diamondback Sorento here. So anyways, leave me some comments down below. What was your first mountain bike? And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and bye.